it is sometimes quite difficult to get hatching to work the way you expect it to work. You may notice in this drawing over here, if I select the cyan line there, it's a closed polyline. If you look in the properties box, you can see it's a closed polyline and it hatches correctly. But when I pick either of the lines here that represent the path, you'll notice that although it is a polyline, it's not closed. And if I pick this one here, it's certainly not closed. They differ a lot in that one of the polylines has got relatively few vertices in it whereas the other, and has curve fitting applied, whereas the other one has no curve fitting applied, and it's just lines and arcs, and there are lots and lots of vertices in there. So it's not surprising that GCAT Plus finds it difficult to hatch in that path area. So what we need to do is to get a, a polyline over the top of the path uh, that we can hatch correctly. Now, the easiest way to do that is to is to set the O-snap onto nearest and just trace around the edge of the path and then hatch the closed space and then remove the edge of the polyline, which is just a temporary fix. So I'll swing to another drawing where we may be able to see that working. To demonstrate how one traces over a curving polyline shape, uh, I've just put little section of a path along through here. I'll come over to the object snap settings. Sorry, double click on it. Up it comes. Make sure object snap is on and that the nearest option is set. And so now I can use the draw polyline. And what I can do is just because nearest is on, it becomes quite easy to just trace around the edge of that shape. You don't have to be too fussy with this because we're going to remove this line in a moment and then right click and close it. So now I should be able to fill that closed area with some hatching. So draw, hatch, we can pick the polyline. There's our closed shape just checking over here. Yes, it's closed and right click. I've chosen cross a series of dots with a scale of four and we just say OK. So it hatches easily and now all we need to do is remove that polyline which was drawn in a somewhat messy way and now we've got some reasonably good hatching there. If I undo that erasing and delete the polyline, if you were a little concerned about the accuracy of you're tracing the shape, just say in this area here you wanted to put another vertex in there, just click on number 11, in this case right click and insert a vertex and then drag that one along so you get a much tighter line. So it depends how fussy you want to be, uh, but you can adjust the curve fitting quite well. In some instances you could select that polyline, it's at the moment lines and arcs, and you could apply curve fitting to it, and that might work in the way you want. But you'll get differing values here towards the end. That may not matter because the crosses, when we uh, hatch, will stay inside the shape. So I hope what I've done is to illustrate, let's unselect all, how you might go about hatching that rather complex path there. So I've drawn that polyline there, just to demonstrate again, it's hatch, pick the red polyline, check that it's been closed, it's just lines and arcs, and we can OK it and hatching goes in. So it gets a little bit tricky. The, the, the problem is that GCAD Plus and other CAD programs can't join together um, polylines that have had curve fitting. If I drew a polyline from here to here to here to here and finished it at that point, then drew another polyline and I snapped to that end point there. I went through here, down there, and then back to this end point. Because those two polylines, this one and this one, are polylines and they've not had any curve fitting, I can select them and join them. And now I could apply curve fitting to those lines once they are joined. And you might want to experiment with different types of curve fitting. 
and do some adjusting to the to the shape. But if let's explode those, if we tried to join no, that won't that won't work. If we you'd have to trust me that if you had chosen some lines that already had curve fitting, let's do it again to demonstrate draw polyline here, 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 and there, and enter, and another polyline from the end through there, 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 and back to this end. We now have two polylines. We know we can join them because they don't have curve fitting applied, but if I put curve fitting and apply it to this one, and now try selecting the other one, the two polylines now, and try and join them, GK Plus says, I'm sorry, I can't join those objects. So that's not so much a problem. It's, it's common to all CAD software, but I hope I've shown you a little trick that helps you hatch rather complex areas. Just draw a polyline around any area that you need to hatch. Don't apply any curve fitting to it. Apply some hatching and then remove the boundary polyline. The other tool you might like to try is the boundary tool itself because as you move around and create a shape it automatically makes a closed polyline and that will certainly be able to be hatched very very easily so let's do it let's hatch this polyline and we'll put the same hatch pattern in and scale the advantage of using this is it's a boundary hatch you can simply move things around and adjust things. So whether you use a polyline and hatch it, or whether you use boundary line and apply the hatching, um, it's up to you. When you apply conventional hatching, then you can't do the trick that we've been applying over here to the left-hand side of this drawing. So that's jumping all over the place, but I hope that helps a little in hatching complex areas in GK Plus drawings.